603 and now to the latest on the coronavirus in our state. Channel 3 is your back to school authority and the governor is adamant about getting schools students back inside school buildings, but he's not allowing He's now allowing for even more flexibility for school districts. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins joins us from the state capitol with the latest this morning. Mark. Well, good morning, Caitlin. I think adamant's a great way to describe the uh, attitude and the philosophy of Governor Lamont. He wants those students to get back into the building as soon and as safely as possible, but he understands that school districts, each of them have to deal with different circumstances. And those circumstances might lead to a different plan of return to the classroom. It may be all at once or a staggered plan, but a plan nonetheless in the governor's eyes that gets students back into buildings. I'm afraid in this COVID world, I cannot promise you 100% safety. What I can promise you is we're going to do this as safely as we possibly can. Full-time in school, partial or hybrid homeschool plans, nothing is written in stone yet. The governor will leave open the possibility of school districts going full-time online, but state approval will be needed for that. If there's a rare example with despite a very, very low infection rate, some school district does not want their kids going to school, we're going to have a really forceful discussion with the superintendent about why that is. And high school athletes are very excited and, and highly anxious to find out what the CIAC has in store. The state's governing body plans to release its plan for fall sports at noon today. And from what I understand, my sources tell me that uh, those plans do include high school football to some degree. Reporting live, the state capitol with the mobile newsroom, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.